and I just said to you, you know, I, I hope it I hope it turns out pretty good. And you said No, it has to be perfect. Ooh, I love this. Yeah, it has to be nice and perfect. That was Javier Ambris. He is one of the co-owners to Triple J Painting. I have used them several times in the past, and now is no exception. He does fabulous work. As you can tell, it is very important to him to make everything just perfect, and I'm a perfectionist, and if you're having your house painted, I'm sure you would be too. It is wonderful to have Triple J Painting helping us out with this project. It took them about six weeks to get us to where we are now. It has been quite a project. So now I'll go back about six weeks ago to the end of July and show you what has happened so far on the house. The painters have been here the last two days masking things off. I hear them, I don't see them. There's the living room, all max masked off. Good morning. <laughs> this is very exciting. They're actually going to spray the primer today. That's why they've masked everything off. Good morning, Javier. Hey, good morning, man. <laughs> Looks gorgeous. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's a lot of prep work. It is, isn't it? It's unbelievable. We went to make dinner last night in the oven and realized we can't make dinner in the oven, which is fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we... You could have taken it off. Oh no, we're good. Javier? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch your company in this video because you do such a beautiful job of painting. But what are you guys doing right now and today? What are you doing? We're just gonna prep as much as we can. Uh-huh. So we could get it ready so we could spray okay. primer tomorrow. Yeah, and then after the primer then uh you could we will see all the defects on the wood and we'll yep. wood fill it and everything. Now this is a look at how the painters are prepping everything. All of the floors have been masked off, which was a lot of work. The windows are being masked off. Again, a lot of work. And in the kitchen here, the countertops are masked off and all of the appliances. So I thought you guys were gonna start painting last night with the primer coat, but you're doing something before the primer coat. Yeah, it's because the thing, we didn't get to that because we gotta send all the woodwork. Uh huh. And then we gotta clean it with lacquer thinner. Yeah. And then after that, we're gonna put the primer on. Yeah, well, and I just said to you, you know, I, I hope it I hope it turns out pretty good. And you said- No, it has to be perfect. Ooh, I love this. Yeah, it has to be nice and perfect. The prep works are the thing that takes a long time. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially with this knotty alder. Yeah. This is the tough wood, isn't it? Yeah, and then we gotta turn it into enamel. So it's a long process. Okay. <laughs> This is a wild day because it's the day I'm going in and they have sprayed apparently the primer, the white primer on all of the trim and the cabinets and that sort of thing. I'm gonna go in and take a peek. You know, the primer is before they do any of the filling of the knot holes, which is knotty pine, so that will be important. It's before any of the final coats, but at least I'll get a sense of what it'll be like to have my woodwork all lightened up. Let's go and check it out. Okay, here we go. Oh my. Oh my, I like it better already. Oh my, it's just primer, but oh my, oh my. Now my trim is going to be more off-white than that. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty doorway, but it's going to be black actually. <laughs> oh, lots and lots of spraying down there. Wow, let's take a look at the master. I wonder if I'm tra traipsing this stuff all around. I don't think I am. Oh, it's dark in here because they have the windows all masked off. Wow. Wow, I like it. I really like it. Feels like my house already. Well, it looks good. Looks very good up here. Hey, <laughs> I sounded like it was a chipmunk there. It looks good, it looks very good up here. Oh, there's my beautiful white kitchen. Oh, I am so excited. Oh, we've made some progress, yay. Let's hear it for progress. Lived here three months and uh, we've had every delay known to man over the last month. Nice. Boy, it looks like a different house. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. 
Yes, it is. I know I look absolutely terrible. I have oil on my hair and uh, I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow morning. And I woke up and it's like three o'clock in the morning. And I hadn't been doing that for the longest time. I had been really like sleeping almost too much, like waking up at seven o'clock in the morning going, oh my gosh, I set my alarm for five, what happened? So basically I decided to come upstairs and yesterday I started thinking about the word perspective. And uh, basically that how we feel in life is based on our perspective of what's going on or our perception, I guess, but perspective is a good one because that's more active. And look around me, I am in a mess, but I've got to keep perspective in that I am very lucky to be at this point in the process because it has not been easy. I think a lot of you out there knew that it wouldn't be easy. And I, I haven't done this for years and years. <laughs> and uh, this one is more extensive than the one we did 20 years ago. I mean, we have a lot of, we have lived in a lot of houses and we've done a lot of fix up ourselves, but it's not like this process of every wall, every ceiling, every floor, all the tile, everything being changed out. So anyway, let me show you where we are right now. And I'm excited to be here because we're probably a good, almost halfway through the paint job. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but it's crazy. Here's a look at my front door and Javier has sprayed primer on everything. And we actually don't have the wood look woodwork anymore, which is great. I'm excited about that. And you might notice that there are bunches of red looking spots. Yes, and that is because number one, the filler that Javier was using, he said, oh, they've sanded that red down. So it's very smooth, you can't feel it. But wherever there is a divot in the wood, they are going ahead and filling it with the red with the red filler. They were using kind of an off-white filler, but Javier said that it was shrinking and it's easier to identify the red. And like this, it is totally smooth. I mean, Javier, beautiful job, totally smooth. And this is kind of a funny detail. My husband wanted to get rid of those, but you know, I don't want to get rid of those. I think flowers are wonderful and I think it makes it look kind of cute. So I'm keeping those. But anyway, that is where we are right now. And you can't know about the difficulty of, of doing a whole house remodel until you're in the middle of it. And it is a challenge, that's for sure. But look at that. I have the beginnings of a white, beautiful kitchen. I can hardly wait. Well, I'm so excited because I'm going upstairs. They have started spraying the first coat. The primer is on everywhere, but they've started spraying the first coat. And there are two coats that they're gonna use, but I'll kind of show you, try to stay in the background and show you how they're doing. Hi, Javier, it looks great. Wow. And they're starting the doors. Yay. Look at that tremble. It's so much better. Look at this fireplace. It's looking really, really good. Yay, progress. So tell me, right now it's still wet, right? Yeah, right now it's wet. That's why it looks really shiny. Yeah, it's really shiny. So yeah. when it dries, how will it look compared to how it looks now? Well, it's gonna be like a matte finish. Matte finish, nice. Yeah, like a satin finish. Yes, satin finish, yeah. yes. It's gonna be a little bit more shiny than the walls, but yes. it's not gonna be super shiny. So after this dries, does it get another coat? What's the, what's the next process to this? Well, when we put the first coat, we check all the wood again. Oh. To see if we missed like caulking or or like putty somewhere and yes and we check everything before we put the final one yes and then you spray the final and then we spray the final very good very good and then after that we gotta leave it to dry at least for a day uh -huh. and then come back and tape it off and spray the ceiling the ceiling is next and then the walls are last yeah hey this is so exciting most of the trim is done now and it's been put back up on the on the walls, the plantation shutters are there. We've got a little issue with that shutter, but we'll have that fixed. There's all that gorgeous trim up there, the crown molding, and there's a door. I don't know where it goes, but here's a beautiful little fireplace. You know, you can't even find a fireplace like that on the internet because I guess it's so out of style, but I think it's so pretty. I just love it. And I, I love these little flowers on here too, because to me, flowers are happy. Maybe not super elegant, but they're happy. And then there is the kitchen. 
doors to be done still. That is going to get another coat, and so will that. It has glass shelving and lights in the top, which will be cool. And here is the breakfast bar in the kitchen. It's coming along. And look, I dragged this from upstairs. I am so excited, I think that looks beautiful. And there is the wall color on there. Very, very pretty. Okay, let's head back through the kitchen. The bar will be there, or the center island. There's the coffee bar, not there yet. There is the mudroom area, and this is the powder bath, which is going to be so gorgeous, I can hardly wait. Look at this, Brian came today, and he, he raised my, um, my molding. It was only up to that little line there, and I didn't like it. It seemed too squatty because I wanted it to be even with the top of the door up there. And then he added another molding box here, which I didn't have before, and also the crown mold up there, which would be really cool. That's gonna be a little jewel box. Hi, baby. <laughs> and here's the little hallway that is off to the laundry room right there. And then the back two bedrooms, the Jack and Joe bedrooms. This is the small, smaller of the two. This is the larger of the two. These rooms will be carpeted. I just ordered the carpet yesterday. Big closets in each room. And then we have the Jack and Joe bathroom. There is the tub. We're actually having that painted white. We'll see how that works. Hopefully it'll work well. And then here is the other little Jack and Jill bathroom. Now we're going to the other side of the house, the other wing of the first floor. There's a little pantry there. Well, oh, before we do that, this is, I was gonna call it Dylan's room because he loves libraries. And we're gonna have a sofa, actually a love seat and two chairs from the other house in here. And my question is, should I go ahead and paint these walls white to match the trim? Because there's an awful lot of trim in here. Or should I use the accessible beige, which is what I'm using out there? Then this is the master bedroom wing. Here is what I call the little mini, mini bedroom has a little bathroom off there. And in the bathroom, that will actually be navy blue. They accidentally painted it off white, but there's a little tiny bathroom there. Now we go back to the primary bedroom. Here it is. Nice, a lot of doors are still here. But the bed will be here, and that will be my view when I wake up in the morning. Whoa, how nice is that? And then here is my closet, and it is very large. And here is Alan's closet. He will not need anywhere near this much space. He's not really a clothes horse. <laughs> That's where the standing tub will be. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. <laughs> this is where the big walk-in shower will be. This bathroom got a lot wider. And <laughs> again, I have the issue of do I paint it white or do I paint it kind of a light gray color, which was the last bathroom? I think, well, I'm just not sure between the two. Okay, this is my living room. After three and a half months of living in the basement, this is where the painters are. The carpenters have gotten done and the painters are working on the trim paint. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, there's a bird in there. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. A bird is like a sign from God that everything's going to be okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it is stressful living in this mess, I have to admit, but I'm grateful because this is my dream house. And I'm so excited. And the reason it's my dream house is in large part because of that beautiful view outside. Excited about that. Here are the kitchen cabinet doors that still need to be painted. And here's the kitchen. I dragged some decor items up to remind myself that it, it really is going to be my beautiful home. I can hardly wait. But this is the kitchen. And it is uh, difficult to live in. We, of course, live down in the basement while all this is getting done. That will be the coffee bar, which will be very exciting. That's the other bedroom wing down there. And there's a little powder bath here. Very exciting. And this is a look at where Al and I live. This is the basement. What's next? Well, we're gonna mask everything off over there. Yeah? Get ready to prep all everything so we can spray the ceilings and and everything and then uh then, then the walls come next and then after that we'll take all the paper off and touch up everything that it's needed 
Yeah, wow, it's gorgeous. I'm so happy. Well, we gotta tape up the, all the crown and all the woodwork so we can spray the ceilings. Right. And then everything's gonna be covered and then we gotta spray those doors. Yes. And those, uh, the drawers. Yes. And the reason why we're doing that is so the overspray doesn't fall on the painted woodwork that's already finished. You're amazingly detailed, amazingly. Yeah. So it has to be perfect. I love that. Thank you. Yeah. Real quickly, I want to show you where we are right now. And that is that all of the trim has had two coats. It's completely finished. The trim there is completely finished, but Javier and his crew had to mask every little bit of the trim off. Unbelievable, the work, the amount of work this is. But he masked all the trim off because this is Saturday and Monday morning, they start painting walls. Can you imagine? I'm so excited. This ugly old gold paint is gonna be gone. Okay, they are just starting the first coat of accessible beige. There it is over that window. It's the color I used in the last house and it matches all my furniture. Javier, yeah. you guys are creating a masterpiece here. Thank you. I mean, and it's looking beautiful. Yeah, it is. This is the first coat. Mm -hmm. And so then, when, when do you think this whole first floor will be painted? I think we should finish by Tuesday. I opened up the top plantation shutters. Look how pretty that looks. Oh, I just love it. We're gonna have black hanging lights, a black chandelier with crystals there, a black ceiling fan over there. It's all layers, you have to remember that. It's all layers. Hi, Javier. Oh, thank you. Working? Looks good. Poor guys, what a mess. It's really exciting to get the S up there. That was at the old house, and now it's here at the new house. Yay, Jorge! Well, that is a look at the extensive process of having my house painted, from the ceilings to the walls to all the trim. And again, it was a super challenge because we had that knotty alder woodwork everywhere with knots everywhere. So really special thanks goes out to Triple J Painting and the excellent job that Jorge and Javier did on this home. Let me go ahead and show you real quick the final results, at least where we are now. And we have lived here, moved in May 5th, June, July, August, September. So it's been just over four months. So I guess it's not horrible, but it, is, it has been a challenge, I will say but the painters did a fabulous job. I'll give you a last final look at where the house stands right now. Okay, this is right inside the front door. There is that beautiful front door, and it is a very 80s front door, which I didn't like when I first bought the house, but now I really do like it. I think it's kind of charming. There is the little office area, and I have a bunch of family pictures there. I'm not sure about that. I think that looks junky and horrible. So I'll probably just get some photo albums and then have fewer pictures there. But anyway, this is the great room with that lovely fireplace. And again, I have some of my artwork up there already just to remind myself that it, it will end up being a beautiful home. There are the little wooden things that I have in the two big bookcases there. There's a look at that living room. That used to have a wall with a door in it that divided this room, but now it's one big room. And da 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 da, here's my kitchen. I am so excited. We did lower the bar in the kitchen, and that of course has all the, the quartz. All the quartz is on the first floor already. There we go, there's a look at the kitchen. And here's a look at the beautiful wood floors. They still have one more coat to go, and apparently the last coat is the final coat, and it's the very last thing that we do. After we do the painting, there's the coffee bar. There is the mudroom area, and this is one of my favorite things. And this is the powder bath, and my little decorator friend suggested that I use a different doorknob on that. I think that's beautiful. And there that is. That is a beautiful, beautiful dark gray called, I think it's dove gray, I'm not sure. 
I'll put it down in the comments section. There we go, there is the laundry room as it stands now. And Alan just put in those two lovely crystal lights. They're very inexpensive, really like them. I think they're from Amazon. And then here's the little back hallway. Here is Colin's bedroom when he comes from Grand Rapids. This is where he will be staying. Hi, Colin, I bet you're watching this video. This is your room. Your bed is gonna be right here and you'll wake up to that beautiful view. There's the closet and there's the little Jack and Jill bathroom. Alan put the lights up yesterday. We need different bulbs, but that looks really good, I think. There is the tub that is still almond. It will be painted white. Javier is going to do that when he starts painting on the basement. We're living in the basement right now. So the basement is the next project after we get moved in. I think we'll be moved in up here within about six weeks. That's the other half of the Jack and Jill bathroom. And there's the other little bedroom there. Okay, here we go to the other side of the house. Oh, <laughs> Amazon boxes. That's the box graveyard. Amazon has worn a path to our door. That's for sure. There's that lovely view. Here is the little mini, mini bedroom, which is so tiny. It can support a double bed though. We figured that out. And uh, <laughs> there was a little bit of a mistake. That should have been painted maybe, but Javier is coming back. The neat thing about Javier is not only does he do a great job when he's doing the painting initially, but he said, let everybody else finish their stuff and that he would come back after the tile person does their thing. There's all the tile, the tile has started. So excited about that. Because he said other contractors will mess things up and he will come back for a final walkthrough. I can put blue tape places and he will fix any little problems that arise after the floor is is refinished for the final time. And also after all the tile is in, there's my big closet, no lights in there yet. There's Alan's closet. He is definitely not a clothes horse. He does not need that for sure. But this is the master bath. It has no light in it, so it's a little hard to see. This will be a very large shower, glass shower, right there. And then that will be a little white freestanding tub there and plantation shutters. Well, that is a look at the house as it stands right now. It has been a lot more difficult than I thought it would be, that's for sure. But I do know that when all is said and done, in another six weeks, we'll probably be moving out of the basement, moving upstairs. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see the movers come in and move our furniture up out of the garage. Actually, a lot of it's in the basement, a lot of it's in the garage. This has been quite the project, but so far so good. Let me know in the comment section if you have any tips on remodeling, if you've gone through this before, if you understand how I feel, or if it was a piece of cake for you, I'd love to know that too. Well, anyway, that's the end of this video, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.